Hi guys, long time no see. So today I would like to talk about what to do when you come to the Netherlands. Exactly about your next step of integration, which is in Burgering. I got so many questions about it. So I'm also currently on the process of integration. And I think it might be helpful for you if I share my experience with you. This video will be pretty long because I really want to make one basic video for each of you to know what to do step by step when you need to do integration so that anytime you can come back to this video and see what is my first step what is my second step and so on so let's get started enjoy and as always you can support me you can share this video with someone who also needs to take integration exams or you can also just uh, subscribe and uh, yeah give me some positive comments so First step is to check the date when you arrive to the Netherlands. Why you need to do this? Because you need to know that from the 1st of January 2022, the governments of the Netherlands implemented a new Civic Integration Act. So what does it mean? It means that the people who arrive to the Netherlands after the 1st of January 2022 are obliged to take integration exams with new rules. So it is applicable for me, for newcomers, for people who are planning to come to the Netherlands only now and uh, yeah, in general for people who came to the Netherlands after the 1st of January 2022. Again, so why it is important? Because if you came to the Netherlands before the 1st of January 2022, then this video isn't for you. So please close it and go to the official website to see what are all the rules for you for the integration. So, and if you are like me, who arrived after 2022, or you're coming soon, then this video is for you, and let's go to the step two. Okay, step two. So, let's imagine that you arrived to the Netherlands safely, and uh, you got your residence permit, you prepared all the important documents, like BSN, your health insurance, and after that, you will get a letter from the governments that you need to start your integration process. The letter will be from DUO. So, and in this letter, it is a very important letter. You will see two dates. The first date is when you need to start your integration process. And the second date is your deadline for integration process. The governments will give you only three years, three, I emphasize this, uh, to integrate to the Dutch society. It means you need to take all the exams for these three years. Um, for example, I arrived to the Netherlands in August and uh, I got my letter only in October. So it's not that you arrive and immediately you need to integrate. No, you have some time to settle down. And after that, you get a letter. You would need to follow step three. Step three. So after you know uh, your integration date, you will get another very, very important letter. This letter will be from your municipality or Hemente, or it might be also the organization that works very close to this uh, municipality. In this letter, it will be like invitation for the interview. And this interview is very, very important because according to this interview, you will know how exactly you need to integrate to the Dutch society. So let me stop here for a second to explain what are three roles to integrate to the Dutch society. So according to new act, there are three ways how you can integrate to the Dutch society. And during the interview, you choose with your, let's say, mentor, what road would be better for you. So, for example, the first one calls V1 road, and it means that the person needs to learn Dutch language till V1 level. It's also main road, and I would say this is the main road for all the people who arrive in the Netherlands. The second road is more for young people who still need to study at school, for example, or at university or at college in the Netherlands. So it also wasn't my road. And the third one is, um, as my mentor explained to me, more for elderly who can't study well or who already like um, for people who are, for example, ill and can't study. So this is like an easy road, but it wasn't also my road. So why do I say that this interview is very important? Because you need to be very honest with the person who asks your questions. According to these questions, this 
person or I would say this mentor because this person will help you to integrate better to the Dutch society or will give you instructions. This mentor will choose the best route for you to integrate to the Dutch society. So for example, if you know that you're ill or you have some personal problems that might not allow you to study quickly or to study well, you need to tell about all your worries to this person, be very honest. And in this case, this person might uh, try to change the rules of your integration or maybe to get extension for you to study Dutch longer, not three years, but maybe three years and a half. So yeah, this interview is really very important. Step four. So after your interview is over and the integration plan is chosen for you, you have the next step. The next step is when you come to municipality again and you need to take a quick learning test. So you don't need to study for this test. It's a very good thing. Um, it's just a very easy test about your learning abilities. So, for example, I don't remember well all the questions, but it might be uh, like three pictures. For example, one picture, it will be like uh, ice cream. The second picture, it would be candy. And the third picture would be an apple. And you need to choose one that isn't a match for two previous ones. So obviously it will be an apple because ice cream and candy are sweets. Okay, step five. So your integration plan is ready and this video is only for people who are also like me will take exams for B1 level. So for example, if a municipality chose for you different integration plan, then this video isn't for you and I can't, for example, help you with this. So let's uh, keep with the B1 road here. Um, for B1 road, you need to take six integration exams. I know that it might sound very difficult, but some of them are not actually exams. So I'm going to talk about the first one, which is called like participation statement. So what is this? Again, uh, from your mentor, you will get a call or a message or a letter that you need to come uh, to the municipality or to that organization to take um, part in a, I would say, like a lecture about the Netherlands, about um, law in the Netherlands, what is allowed in the Netherlands, what are not allowed in the Netherlands. So, for example, for my municipality, this takes only one day and I think four or five hours. So you come once, you listen to the lecture, after the lecture you answer some questions uh, or what you learned, and you get a paper which is called like participation statement. Okay, I brought my participation statement here. It looks like this. You will get it from your municipality after you uh, listen to the lecture and also answer all the questions. Um, these lectures might be in Dutch or might be Dutch English. I came and I honestly told that I don't speak Dutch well yet. So could you please uh, speak English or translate also uh, for English speaker people? And they did this. I know also that in some municipalities it can take more than one day. So for example, you need to come once, twice or three times uh, to this lecture. So please check out uh, with your mentor or with the person from municipality who is responsible for your uh, integration process, uh, how long it will take, what are the rules and so on. Again, you don't need to study in advance for this uh, seminar or lectures because Mostly everything will be told to you by people or by lecturers who work there. So the most important thing you need to remember is there is no discrimination in the Netherlands. There is freedom of speech. It's not allowed to bring uh, violence or to use violence against other people in the Netherlands. And I think these are the basic things. Or, for example, they also can teach you what to do if you have a conflict with your neighbor or if they are noisy, like what help you can get. So, yeah, this was pretty easy. You can meet also new people there. And uh, yeah, you don't need to be afraid of it because if you, I think, tell honestly that you don't speak Dutch well, so they will try to help you and anyway, you will try to finish this exam or this lecture. So the next step is language exams, our favorites. <laughs> so um, yeah, as I told before, you need to take language exams till B1 level. And exactly, you need to take already four language exams, which is speaking, listening, writing, and reading. You get three years to pass these exams. I honestly saying that I haven't studied language for so long, so I didn't study Dutch uh, during my first year in the Netherlands, and I have started studying well only recently. So um, yeah, I believe this is enough time to study language for three years or even for two years. But again, if you feel like you're not very good with Dutch and you take courses, for example, and you can't study well, so then again, maybe you can talk to your mentor or municipality to change a bit or to get extension of your integration process. 
In this video, I will not talk about uh, how I study Dutch now. So mostly I use self-study courses or self-study books. So uh, if you're interested in it, please leave me some comments and I will try to also make a video and share my insights how to study uh, language in a budget manner. So how um, to not spend a fortune for language courses because here they are pretty expensive. And uh, yeah, I will try to explain how I learn language now. Also, I want to mention that you don't need to take all the exams in one day. You can uh, come to take one exam, then after one year to take another exam. You are absolutely flexible. There are no limits for you except the limit of three years. Okay, the next exam that I would like to discuss is Knowledge of Deutsche Society or KNM. It is pretty similar to KNS part that we have uh, done for our basic integration exam for A1 level back in your home country in the Dutch Embassy. Uh, this exam is also for knowledge of Dutch history, Dutch society, and uh, yeah, life in the Netherlands. Um, I would say that this exam isn't very difficult because it is also for A2 level. So this is uh, one exam for all people who want to integrate to the Dutch society. And um, yeah, I can also share maybe how I'm currently preparing for these exams, what, I, uh, what sources I use. So please also let me know in the comment section. I also do it myself, so I don't pay any money for studying for this uh, integration exam. And the questions are also about the society, for example, about healthcare, what to do if you have a child, um, where you can uh, call if you have a problem with your neighbor or if there is a, like a crime or something like this. So also about national holidays in the Netherlands, yeah. And I would also say if you live in the Netherlands for some time, maybe it would be easier to take this exam as a, the last exam because you would already know a lot of processes uh, in the Netherlands. So for example, during my first year in the Netherlands, I really learned a lot of things like about healthcare system here or about educational system here. So that's why like I don't need to study pretty hard for this part. But for example, I don't have a child currently. I don't know how to... Um, how to send my child to school or how to choose um, like a kindergarten and so on. So that's why I would need uh, to study well these parts. And the last exam that you would need to take is a MAP exam. I can't unfortunately pronounce well in Dutch the full uh, name of this exam, but it is about integration to the Dutch labor market. So currently I haven't taken this part yet and I also discussed with my mentor whether I need to take it because I'm also looking for a job and uh, my mentor told, for example, if I find a job that will be more than 20 hours per week, um, maybe the governments will allow me to not take this exam because I already have a job. But uh, so far what I know about this part, you would also need to, to come a few times to municipality to listen to certain lectures about labor market. So for example, how to write your CV, how to write your cover letter for a job, how to look for a job, what sources you can use, uh, what are your rules um, or rights on the Dutch labor market. So this is everything about um, how to get a job in the Netherlands. What also you need to know about the exams is that you need to pay for all of them. So each of them costs, I think, currently 50 euro, but it might be higher later. So you always need to check. And also, for example, if you fail exam, you can take it one more time and one more time till you pass it. But again, there is only one limit of three years. As far as I know, but I'm not sure 100%, so you would also need to check it. I will try also to search it. Uh, that if you don't integrate during your first three years and you don't have a good reason for this, then you would need to pay a fine for the Dutch governments. I'm not sure the size of this uh, fine, but maybe I can also write it on the comments or I will share all the sources from the official websites about integration in the Netherlands. There are also exceptions for people why they don't need to take these integration exams or how they can get extension for integration process. So you can take it because obviously there are so many uh, situations that can be taken into account or cannot be taken into account. And I don't know all of them. I just follow the main uh, way to integrate with the Dutch society. And I'm trying to share my experience with you how to do it in a very budget way and how to not make any mistakes while you try to integrate with the Dutch society. And after that, when you are done, you get your Inburgering certificate that allows you to get a permanent residence permit in the Netherlands. Or, for example, you can also apply for the citizenship in the Netherlands. So this is all what I wanted to say about integration in the Dutch society or Inburgering. I hope 
my video will help you to understand how the process look like and what you need to do when you come to the Netherlands. If you have any questions, you can always write some comments and um, yeah, I will try to help you as much as possible. Or also you can send me a DM on some social networks that I mentioned in the description box. So good luck and uh, let me know if you are interested about some other things. I am planning also to make some other videos about life in the Netherlands. And maybe you have some specific questions that I will try also to answer uh, in my next videos. Bye bye guys, let's see each other in the next videos. I'm also currently taking my integration exams and I hope that my experience will also help you in the long run to go through this integration path. So let's see each other soon and uh, thanks a lot for your support and I also wish you good luck with your integration.